Give us a thumbs up on this video. Also, don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a video. As some of you may or may not know that me and Sammy have been together for over seven years. It's going to be eight years and on August 2020, so we're going to be together for eight years. We felt that it was a really good idea to do this video to help out other couples that, you know, are trying to stay together or looking for a long-lasting relationship. We always have a lot of different questions asking, you know, how we're still together. What, you know, have we been breaking up? What, you know, what's really going on between us? And to be honest, we haven't even broken up one time oh in seven years. There's been a couple little iffy moments, but it's been, never been that serious to where we really had to break up and, like, take a huge break or anything or just break up and never talk to each other. So, yeah, we also, we have two kids. One is on the way. It's a boy. He can be here any time. We do have Cairo as well. So with seven years, we got two kids and we're yeah, so we're building a little empire at the moment. Mm -hmm. We felt that it was a really good idea to do the video also because, you know, there's always people looking for different ways and stuff like that to last in a relationship, looking for, you know, love at a certain time in their life. I can see we are still very young. So, and we're still going, but it is possible, and let's get right into the video. We do have a couple of different tips. How many tips do we have? We have four like tips. Four, around like four tips that are really, really important. There's a lot of different opinions on these tips, but this is going to be ours, and just being real honest and truthful, so let's get right into the video. The, the first, first tip, tip is sex. sex. A lot of things are, you know, so influenced by sex, like music, videos, uh, movies, just a whole bunch of stuff. Everyone in school, everyone around you, so they just make it seem just, I don't know, I don't really, our opinion on sex in a relationship is a lot different than another than a lot of other people's, so I feel, this is my opinion, he's going to share his opinion as well. It's... It def it's definitely a great thing to share with your partner to, you know, express your love and, you know, just how comfortable you are with each other. But I don't feel like it's a 100% necessity. I feel like it can either make or break a relationship because females get very, very sensitive on certain things. You know, we think a lot of like, oh, is he just, you know, doing this with me, blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, we think a million things when we're you know, having sex or, you know, we're in certain stages of our relationship. You know, if we're in a long relationship, like, oh, does he want to have sex with me anymore? Or you know, is he trying to, you know, is he tired of me? Or, you know, in the beginning, like, you know, there's just a lot of different things that we think of as women that men don't know. So with that being said, I feel like there's a lot of other things that y'all should focus on in your relationship, not only just sex. Sex is going to bring y'all together to a certain extent. It's going to be a time, especially when you have children and stuff like that, where stuff is going to start slowing down, where y'all really don't have that time for it to be doing all that type of stuff. And one or the other might be affected by it more or less. And I feel, you know, it's not as important as a lot of people make it seem. Like, oh, how many times are you having sex? Or, bro, you're not even doing, you know what I'm saying? You're not even this and that. But in reality, it doesn't really come down to that at the hard core of a relationship. Sex to me is a very important yeah, factor. Yeah, I just spilled this on me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Sex to me is a very important factor in a relationship to an extent on how you look at sex. Especially when you build a long-term connection with your significant other mm -hmm. and you guys... It's not like just anybody that's like, oh, she's bad. Or, oh, he's cute. Yeah, but no, it's a really great thing when you guys connect and you guys, you know, share that intimacy between you guys because it's, it's love. It doesn't feel on how when you have some... Awkward. Yeah, like, you know, that first With time. With someone you don't really know. Yeah, especially that too, but... I feel like it's... Sorry, I am going to say this one last thing. I personally take sex very... I feel like it's very, very, very personal to me. 
And if you don't know what the other person is doing or what they're doing or this and that, not everybody's going to tell you what they have or who they're messing with exactly. So when you have a certain person that you can, you know, you already build with, you kind of, you know, you already know when you're more comfortable. It just mm -hmm. feels better than just like, oh, I'm just about to go mess with him. But then like next week you end up having HIV, like, or just, it's just very personal to me and I get very... Just, I can get very into the topic. When you have that relationship, you guys are, you know, having intimacy. The biggest thing about sex is because, you know, it keeps you guys together. You guys share love with each other. And also, when you guys do interact with sex, you know, spice things up. You know, make make things different. Don't, don't make it boring. Nobody in a long-term relationship wants to have boring sex. You have to do this. You have to do this for her. She has to do this for you. You have to make it enjoy. Pleasurable. For Pleasurable. You. Yes, you got to make it... At the end of the day, make it fun. Not fun where, you know, nobody wants to, you know, do the same thing. Step back to your comfort zone. Yeah, I feel you like gotta... Because that's how I was a lot staying in the comfort zone. And I felt like, you know, it's a time to, you know, this and that. Because eventually your partner might get bored of you. Mm -hmm. And if the guy, especially, I mean, women do cheat as well. But if the guy is not mentally, like, there with his head, he's probably going to be thinking, like, he wants to try with somebody else because you're not giving, you're not bringing us up to the table. It needs to be every single day, six yeah. times a day, because yeah. that's, like, that's just doing too much. It just, I mean, it just depends on the relationship. If they like to have sex, you know, but... I mean, are you going to have sex seven times a day? Well, yeah, that's, that's Four true. times a day, seven days a week for 20 years? Yeah. Like... Also, don't let sex... <laughs> become like, their relationship the, yeah their relationship. That, that also hurts the relationship yeah. too. basically the main thing that we're trying to say because it's a very long topic so we like Javier had already said you know don't make what he said was perfect don't make sex the relationship I feel like that's a big thing to take from this, <laughs> to take no, from this because there's a lot of other things that y'all need to focus on and when y'all focusing just on that like i said if you decide that you don't want to do it anymore like that the other person might be getting mad like oh why are you trying to switch up now blah blah and it's going to cause problems in your relationship but definitely it's a big thing but don't make it too big of a thing for your relationship tip number two trust 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 comes a long way when you're building a relationship, but the trust between you guys, it's not, it won't come right away, especially if you're Definitely starting, not right yeah, away. especially if you're just starting a relationship or if you're finding someone to be in a relationship, um, trust comes a long way. You have to earn your, each other's trust. You have to build each other's trust. That's the top. Yes. Other than sex, I think trust is the, one of the top, uh, That's characters. That's how a lot of people in, are scared to date. Yeah. It's trust. As the relationship you know prolongs, the better it gets, the stronger that you guys get. Mm -hmm. um, also, factors on trust. Like I said, you can't just hop in a relationship and automatically think you know it's going to be there. You have to earn it, and by you guys earning each other's trust, that's what helps build the relationship. Because now you're like, oh, now he can do this. Oh, she can do this. Building trust is a very big key factor in a relationship, and it will help you many years that you're with your significant other. Also, things you can do to you know help. Each other build each other's trust. Let the guy to do his thing. You know, let him go out to football games. Let him go out to, you know, his a boys party, a birthday party, whatever y'all be doing nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, let the girl do what she wants. Let her go have her fun. When you're when you when you're entering a relationship and it's brand new, you guys just started. You guys can't just re you can't put restrictions on just because you don't feel that your trust is strong enough. I feel like it's really important to have trust in your relationship. It's eventually going to grow with over time. You know, you can't really expect to trust the person that you're really talking to at first, getting into a relationship. Or, you know, if you have dealt with numerous things in the past with your current relationship during trust, see if, you're, if you could talk to your significant other and see if you can, you know, find ways to learn how to trust each other or something like that to help y'all move on to the next level for your relationship. Once you start acting crazy when someone's out there doing what they're doing, it. then it's going to make them feel some type of way like they don't like that and they're going to do what they want to do and that's eventually going to make them do something that they shouldn't have been doing. Mm -hmm. And that's going to cause a break in the relationship.
That's a big thing too. If you if you don't have trust between each other, or if it's to the point where you guys can even earn each other's trust, then y'all can't y'all can't be together. The relationship's right not gonna work. Y'all can't at all. be together if you have no trust. I know a lot of guys they complain about you know what their girlfriend's wearing, or girls complain about you know th them going to their boy's house and stuff like that. Which sometimes they really are going to their guy's mm -hmm. house. They need to get away from the female energy and just be around. You know all their their guy energy that they need to be around. Like they want to play the game. They want to they want to smoke together. They want to be in their own little area just around them. Especially if there's a female that's constantly nagging them on her back 24 seven. If you're one of those because you're just like so you want to be so strict and make sure nothing happens between y'all, then it's gonna be a problem as well. Yeah. So. Y'all just have to really find a balance between y'all and learn to trust each other. Go it's going to take time. When you give someone your trust and, you know, you, they already know what they're doing. So if they end up coming back to you and they end up doing something that they wasn't supposed to be doing, then, you know, numerous times, you know, I mean, sometimes one time could, you know, okay, two times, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I don't know about the second one. But especially, it just depends on what it is. So if they like came home a little bit later than we were supposed to, okay, they'll be tripping. But then if you soon to come to find out that there was like there's like a physical another person involved with that situation, then they know what they were doing, and I feel like that's uncalled for. But let them do what they gotta do. You know, have your full trust, and if they break it more than one time, then I feel like y'all not supposed to be together. So and it? try to figure out, you know, try to talk it out. If y'all can't talk it out, then. It's not it's not meant to be. Don't make something meant to be if it's not meant to be. Yeah. Tip, Tip number three, three is going to be goals. goals. If you don't make any goals then <laughs> you're not like, what kind of like, yeah, what kind of relationship is that? You you can do the same boring stuff or whatever you do for you the rest of your life. Or, yeah. But what setting goals <laughs> for you and your partner, you, you grow even more and it's an extra person to, you know, not basically feed off but like help grow with just like, an extra energy that booster, you yeah, say. extra booster. Like setting goals in a relationship, like go create a business, go, go have a couple. Yeah, There's some Beyonce and Jay Z type yeah, of shit. Yeah, like okay? oh, do the that's that's an example right there. Build, make a YouTube, build a, build a um, empire. Build yeah, build an empire. Create stuff. Anything. Uh, put. You can do anything. Anything. Just, There's too much. There's anything. But when you guys set goals, set big goals. Mm -hmm. Set goals so high so you have so much to do in that relationship while you're setting your goals that you guys can go so far. It's just another key factor in relationships that will help you prolong the relationship because I'm just saying, what couple doesn't have goals? Like you yeah. need you need goals for each other and for yourself. If you're just living like in your own little world every single day, you know. Him doing his stuff and you doing your stuff, but then y'all not coming together at the end of the day. You know, he can do whatever, you know, his dreams at the same time and I can do my dreams at the same time. Just express yourself with each other, you know, what do you want to do, what does he want to do, what do y'all want to do together to accomplish. Don't just set goals and not achieve them. Yeah, don't do that. Have steps, what you need to do in order to achieve these goals. Mm -hmm. And if you just put something on a piece of paper and say, okay, we're going to do this, this, and that. And then you guys don't even work towards doing that every single day. Then you're not going to get anywhere. You can't just, it's not just going to come to you just because you said it's coming to you. You have to put the work in to do it. Basically, if you set goals and you don't never achieve those goals or even try to achieve those goals, basically you're going to get into a mode where you're doing the same thing over and then the new goals that you have planned that you really want to do is going to affect that as well. Mm -hmm. And all around, it's, it's just a bad thing to do for yourself and for the relationship. You're going to be you in a, a continuous cycle, a cycle to where nothing's going to get done and you're just going to be talking and talking. Also, another big thing with goals, don't announce them, if that makes sense. It's crazy. Just it's do it. It's really crazy. But definitely a big thing, make sure you have goals for each other. And the last tip that we have for you guys mm -hmm. is tip number four, four. which is solutions. solutions. He came up with this one. It was, it's a good one because a lot of people, solutions, every any problem that you have in a relationship or you have it yourself, find the solution to get through that problem. Always find the solutions to any arguments that you guys have. 
any problem that you have with yourself. Get down to the the main reason why it had happened. Basically, if find the problem to get the solution. Yeah, basically, if you have if you have no solutions to any problems in the relationship, that's that's not a relationship, and the relationship will be ruined. I'm just telling you now. Mm-hmm. By finding solutions to any problem that you guys have, it builds more trust. It builds strength between the relationship because you guys know you guys can handle work it, get through out. whatever, and we yes, work anything work out. Things out, get through it. Also, by just by having without solutions, if nothing will be achievable nothing will be solved between you and your significant other and without solutions basically nothing's not going to work solutions can be the best thing in a relationship because you guys can work out anything Mm -hmm. in any situation it doesn't matter if y'all just you know having little petty arguments or you know just doing little little things that you know annoy both of you and y'all can't really find a solution to it and y'all just like ignoring it and just be like Oh, well, I'm going to just go to bed, leave me alone, don't talk to me, this and that. And y'all wake up, y'all going to have the same energy again, no matter, you know, if you try to or you not try to. It's still going to be there because y'all haven't... Solved It's still anything. going to be there because y'all haven't yet even solved the problem. Or move on to so, the next yeah, step. So, yeah, it's like, so... You know what I'm saying? Y'all just keep doing the same routine and... There has to be a solution to something. If y'all can't find no solution, then it's no solution for y'all. <laughs> y'all can't. It's, it's, I don't know how to explain. It's pretty self-explanatory. If y'all get to what had made this into a problem. Mm-hmm. And then once y'all get down to, you know, y'all get down to what really caused this, basically the cause and effect of it, then, you know, y'all find a solution and just don't do it again. And you know what I'm saying. In, 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 a, re- in a relationship, every mistake that you make that she doesn't happens like, for or, a reason. Also, yeah, or that he doesn't like, you'll learn from it. And you'll keep growing, and then you soon, eventually, you'll know what not to do, uh, what he doesn't like, what she doesn't like, what she doesn't want me to do, and what mm-hmm. he doesn't want me to do. It's, it's simple from there. Like I said, the longer you go in a relationship, it's gonna get better. It's, it's just that. No one's stars. perfect. No one's perfect, and nothing can be perfect. So. Y'all just have to give each other time and definitely express express what you're looking for in the relationship and let them know ahead of time what you like and what you don't like. Yeah. Thanks guys for watching. Let us know if any of these tips have helped y'all. You know, we can definitely get into more details. We just don't want the video to be too long and, you know, lengthy for y'all. We just want to get right to the point. We'll see y'all in our next video. video.